shots rang out in the same park where a gunfight took place less than 24 hours ago, killing a teenager. Good evening. I'm Cherie Palello. And thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Dardis. People went scrambling for cover as bullets went flying across the Finley playground. WLWT News 5's Janelle Walton spoke with witnesses, and she is live right now at UC Medical Center. Janelle. The police chief says the victim was rushed here to the hospital, and it looks like he is going to survive. Now, a witness rushed to try to help that victim. He said he was trying to grab anything he could to stop the bleeding. Greg says he had just stepped outside to take a break when he heard gunshots at Finley Playground this afternoon. I was sitting right there talking to my daughter in law, and bam, 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 bam. And I'm like, I thought it was a joke. Or they were playing until a bullet hit the wall next to me. Greg, who asked us not to use his last name, says he used his Vietnam training to try to stop the victim's bleeding. A couple people gave me their shirts, and that's what I, you know, did to compress the wound, stop the bleeding, until her medics came up. The police chief says officers were on the scene in less than a minute, but the suspect got away on foot. Chief Blackwell says he can't say for sure if last night's deadly shooting and today's are connected. He was shot multiple times in the lower extremities. But this is still very problematic for us that we would have a shooting within 24 hours in the exact same location. Investigators say three people were shot in the over the Rhine Park around 7 p.m. last night. The shooting happened just as a group of men led by Bishop Bobby Hilton marched through the area to bring attention to the need to stop the violence on city streets. 18-year-old Justin Crutchfield was killed. Greg, who volunteers at Lord's Gym around the corner from Republican race, says he's homeless. He says what struck him most about today's shooting is that no one tried to help the victim. No one. I walked up and they were like, who's this crazy white guy? <laughs> Now, Greg says he feels pretty lucky that one of those bullets didn't strike him, especially since he was just a few feet away from the park. Now, I had a chance to talk to another witness that was at that park. That witness actually had a baby in her arms when the bullet started flying. We're going to hear from her coming up at 6 o'clock. Janelle Walton, WLWT News 5.